This is a Peer J video abstract with author David Hone. Uh, my name is Dave Hone and I'm a lecturer in zoology at Queen Mary University of London. Well, for the last few years, I've been working quite heavily on dinosaur behavior and ecology and trying to piece together interactions in ancient environments and in particular doing this through bite marks, so trace fossils of basically direct biting on bones by generally carnivorous dinosaurs. And in this case, we've got the skull of an animal called Despletosaurus. Despletosaurus is a large tyrannosaur, so a very close relative of T-Rex, lived a few million years before it, but looked pretty similar in overall size and shape and appearance. And this animal has numerous different um, marks across the skull, which include both those that are pre-mortem, so injuries during life that later healed, and also a pretty major post-mortem injury, uh, which, based on the context of the fossil, myself and my co-author Darren Tankey are interpreting as uh, basically scavenging, so feeding on this animal by another tyrannosaur. You know, certain things in biology are, are really pretty common and, and, and cover huge numbers and very diverse groups of animals. And one of those is the way that bone changes when it's been damaged. When the bone is damaged, it will change and modify itself as it repairs. And you can actually see this because the texture and structure of the bone, you can literally see how it is altered on the surface. Um, and then, of course, on the flip side, looking at the post-mortem injuries, of course, those don't show any healing. Um, so there's no trace of repair. But in the context of this fossil, uh, we've actually got some evidence that the bones had been moved around at the point at which that bite took place. And given basically how the specimen had rotted and fallen away in the ground prior to its burial, this suggests that actually it had been dead days, possibly even weeks before this happened, and therefore obviously was scavenging rather than A, immediately some kind of kill, or B, any kind of injury to the bone that was immediately pre-mortem or you know, a day or so before it died. We're lucky with the tyrannosaurs that at the time that they were around, or at least the, certainly the later larger tyrannosaurs, like Tyrannosaurus and a bunch of others, actually Tyrannosaurus or Tyrannosaurs were the only big carnivores in that environment at that time. Whenever you find a bone from the time and place that T-Rex lived with bite marks on it from a big carnivore, you know exactly what species it was because it's the only one there. That helps really quite a lot and it does make them not unique, but certainly very useful kind of tool that you can immediately filter the results down quite heavily with, with a fair degree of confidence without having to do anything complicated at all. Some animals kill things and then could spend days or even weeks feeding on them, but generally then you see bite marks all over the skeleton. We don't. We only see them on this jaw and in the head, not on the other parts. So this does look like something that had rotted, fallen apart, and it just kind of grabbed or bit at the last little bit that it could access. So this does show, you know, more supporting evidence of scavenging in tyrannosaurs. Most carnivores don't tend to feed that much on other big carnivores, partly because they're just rare. We're talking about animals, multiple tons in mass. There's not going to be one every half mile. If they came across something that they could eat, they were going to eat it. And it looks like they did just that. I think just on average, this would almost certainly be a rare event, as I say, simply because there is not one of these guys every half mile, even every five or even every 10 miles. It's probably quite rare for them actually to have come across another dead individual. And then, of course, may or may not be hungry at that time. So that would further reduce the odds of them ever actually doing this. But but clearly it's happened. And it has happened more than once. There's actually a T-Rex toe bone with tooth marks on it which can o again can only have come from a t-rex so it does look like there's at least one other tyrannosaur directly cannibalizing its same species